All right, so we are on day three, and I'm like feeling like things are starting to get hard, and I'm realizing that a lot of you newer players out there, free to play players out there, um, you, you guys are really having the worst, or where is it? You guys are really having the worst of it. Because one of the biggest things right now that I'm dealing with is having a, a limitation on what's possible. Mainly one, because of the roster or the roster that I have because I don't have a huge roster uh, like I'm just I'm, I'm limited there's not much I can do for certain things I had a discussion with Beanie Senpai by the way he's doing his free-to-play journey as well as Gavin Masters raid he is also doing a free-to-play journey go ahead and check them out I'll link them down below but um, you know a discussion came up Kale versus Sun Wukong who do we 61st and um, you know Gavin brought up a good point for a lot of newer players, especially those who do not know what they're doing, Kale would be the one you'd want to max out completely. Most notably, the reason is because books are easier to come by with rare champions. Not so much for legendaries. I forgot how difficult it is as a new player or as a player who doesn't spend, as a player who doesn't do clan boss, can't do clan boss, brutal nightmare, or ultra nightmare. Legendary books are very 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 difficult to come by so with that in mind i think i'm leaning somewhat more towards kale but the other side of me is also like sun wukong will help me take leaps and bounds but it's going to be a while before i book him and then the other discussion was do i max out sun wukong first or do i max out rathalos when i get him i'm still kind of on the fence about him Every build that I have seen when it comes to... Oh, well, let me let me back up. I'm not on the fence about him. I think he's an excellent champion. I think he's superb. He's going to do so much damage for me, especially in Hydra. But on an endgame account. On my endgame account is where he's going to shine. If I step back further and I think about all the builds I've seen, the builds that I was going to put on him, I was thinking Lethal, Savage that type of gear that's not going to be available that uh, like i can't get that kind of gear on this account it's just not going to happen you just can't ha make it happen it's just not going to happen this is where i'm at with clan boss i can't even one key easy i can't this is beanie this is my friend uh hike that's gavin on his mini account but yeah so that's where i'm at in terms of uh, the champions, I, I am so tempted to just pull some shards because I think that if I could get a boost to my roster, I could make this a lot easier. But uh, I do want to save. The best thing to do when it comes to your shards, especially if you're not buying them, is to wait for 2x events or guaranteed. But guaranteed is such a long time to wait for. And you have to save up quite a quite a bit. I think the average for ancient shards now is like 200 or 220 for a guarantee. Like if they come up with a oh you can get a a free a free um I don't know cupidus if you pull 200 or 220 shards. We don't know when that might happen. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but that's a thing that could happen that they might do. Void shards usually the the going price for a guaranteed Lego. Well, what was the last one? Like 120? Something like that? Anyway, I digress. Here I am on, um, let's see, what, what mission number is this one? I think 100? Mission 100. Campaign mission. I have been struggling with this here because the way that I have been going through this was kind of just getting through it. I haven't really been two or three starring everything from the get-go just because I don't have that kind of gear yet. Then I got stonewalled at this boss, and this boss hits pretty hard. We're also negative affinity. So what I did was I put Sun Wukong in lifesteal gear. Because li um, you know, lifesteal gear will allow you to heal by 30% of the damage dealt. I had him originally in speed and offense for extra attack, but I sped him up, gave him a little more speed, focused a little bit more on attack, and then we put him in, uh, in the lifesteal gear so he's healing. In order to three-star this, two or fewer champions, I'm just going to try and do it by himself. I'm going to see if I can do this by himself. And um, we're going to have to manual some of it, to be honest. 
So now he's doing some healing. The issue before was he just wasn't healing. And the boss would smite or the boss would smack him really hard, especially with his A3 where he hits like five times in a three or four or five times in a row. This one right here hits three times in a row. And then he places Weaken. Weaken is a debuff that increases the damage received by 15%. So now I think we're okay. I'm pretty sure we can do this with the with the lifesteal. I try my best not to rely on lifesteal gear, but half of me is starting to think that maybe I should at least rely on it to get to where I need to go. What I really want to do is get to the point where I can farm Dragon and Fire Knight. Those are my two favorite dungeons. And then Spider too, but you know, Spider is one of those like, oh, you need a Cold Heart or a Burn Champion to do efficiently and do well and re reliably. Uh oh, here we are. Come on, right there. We can do it. We got it. One more hit. One more hit. We just need one more hit. There it is. Okay, so life steal, life steal made it happen. Now we can continue about our day. Twenty-five lesser potion keeps. I tried to do these potion keeps. What was it? Uh, what stage was it? Forgot already. Five or higher. I tried to do these these potion keeps uh, missions while they're still active because if I if I wait. Let me, let me back up and explain. So when you start your new account, all of these potion keeps will be open to you within the first week. And so you want to try to power through. At least I think I should, I'd want to power through. I should want to power through and do all those missions as much as you can. Because if not, you either have to wait an entire week, which I'm not going to do. I'm not, I'm not playing that. I'm not going to be waiting a couple days or like a week for Void to open up again. No. If I get another potion keep mission after this, I'm gonna pay gems. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm, not, I'm just not gonna play that game because they specifically designed this game to keep you in the game, to keep you coming back, to keep you waiting unless you want to pay. I'm gonna use whatever gems I get free to play for that, and for the same, um, on that same token, arena missions. There have been some arena missions that have come through, too, and um, I just use gems to refresh pages take easy fights and then i use those gems again to get more tokens and that's how i've been banging out my my arena missions as well as my great hall missions so that's where i'm at with that and you're gonna have missions you're gonna have a mission sorry that says or a challenge that wants you to upgrade one uh stack or one tier of attack for each affinity except void but i think you should focus on accuracy so you can do this just for the challenge, and then you're gonna start get you're going to start getting missions that ask you to build um, your great hall all the way up to like level three, then five, and eventually ten. That but that's later on. I'm gonna start focusing on this right here, mainly for Kale, poisons, clan boss. All right, what were we doing? Uh, yeah, there we go. Now we're going to do this. I like to take Spirit Host. By the way, Spirit Host is an amazing progression champion for the early game. So if you get Spirit Host, I do think that you could benefit from building her out. You could use her if you don't have a speed boost like Sun Wukong in Arena with the aura. She gives a 10%. That's something to take. She also gives increased attack. The big version when you ascend her. And then she does a debuff cleanse and then places block buff. So the other thing is she heals by 50% of damage inflicted. I remember using her to solo uh, a stage, some stages, because of this A1, and I would just A1 the entire time just to keep it alive. But that was like a while ago, and that was kind of hard to do. I wouldn't recommend it. Spirit Host is definitely worth building out, but I would not recommend bringing her to 60. I'd say I'd leave her at 50 at the most, and she's also a champion that she used to fuse Rosin. Or was it just this year? One of those fusion champions, it's going to be a mission required. You can tell that a, uh, a champion is going to be necessary for a fusion by looking at these uh, yin and yang swirly indicators right here in the middle. So keep an eye out for that whenever you come across that. Alright, so let's go ahead and start doing this. Gotta get to stage 5. Try to do this as, as quickly as possible. But tell me guys, how are how's your guys's free-to-play journey going are you doing well what struggles are you going on about or dealing with 
so Gavin and Beanie and I talked in our Discord. By the way, link down below if you want to join our clan's Discord. If you're a new player and you want to join a clan, you can join um, our cluster. We're, we're, we're slowly building. Uh, we're not like a really serious clan. We're not competitive. Kind of in our main clan, we're kind of competitive, but not seriously. We're, we're we just want to be chill and we want to have fun and when we want to help each other grow. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, then you know pop on down to the Discord or you can join my Discord if you want to focus more on just the content that I focus on. I just want to connect more so specifically with me. But you can join that. And Beanie was talking about how he's always wanted to run his own clan. Now. We don't know when exactly that's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure he's wanting to open up a clan, run it. We're probably going to stay within the cluster that is Border Town. That's the name of our mini cluster right now, run by Gavin. Um, so if you are a newer player or you're interested in joining us on our journey, that type of thing, more than welcome. This is going to go on a, for a bit. So that, that's one thing that I remember as well. When I first started playing Raid back in 2019, they dumped a lot of energy on me. I didn't know where to use these resources, but they give you a lot of things. And then it gets to a point where you just don't have any more energy. And so you don't know what to do. You, you, you get into the trap where you either have to wait, and nobody wants to wait. People want to play the game, right? Or you have to spend some money which i don't recommend and i'm not going to do on this account because um you know we just we just don't need to do that we can get we can get far enough and enjoy well enough on our own also i think i've decided when i'm going to give this account away i think when i get arbiter i'm going to do all the main missions once i get arbiter that's when i'll give the account away so Actually, now that I think about it, Arbiter and UNM, Clan Boss. So when I can start doing minimum two key on United States, I mean, um, Ultra Nightmare. And when I get Arbiter in the missions, that is when I'm going to give this account away. So hopefully we get some good pulls. Whoever inherits this account is somebody who will take care of the account. Because I've given accounts away before, and it's kind of sad to see because... Like, I put a lot of time and effort into some of these accounts that are quite personal. And then some people will join these account giveaways. And then you hear nothing of, of the account or you don't see any type of progression with it. It just kind of sits there and it's a, it's a waste, really. I'd rather give it to somebody who uh, is going to be on fire for raid. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? They won fair and square. No, no shade, no hate, or whatever you would have you. It's just an observation of mine. How long, how far along are we? I really want to pull. It's hard, to, it's hard to wait, but it's just like, you know, we would, we would need, we need somebody, we need somebody to, to join our roster to help us get to where we need to go because it, this progression is just too slow. Bars, but I'm not a rapper. Just like Beanie. He said that in his video. I'm just copying him. Alright. Here we we're here. I could pull a bunch of greens. Because greens do offer sometimes. There is a mercy rate. If you don't know this, there is a mercy rate for the greens. Dropping rares at times. Sometimes they're good rares. I've, I've pulled a few apothecaries from greens. So, isn't that, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. Oh, you know what's another killer uh, challenge? I thought I did all of them, but I have not. There's this challenge right here. To freaking do uh, hard or above on, on the K-Rock stage to get 4% or 4 star um, four star or higher gauntlets with HP percent. As primary, then for the boots, and then I think I did the one for the shield already. Or not the shield, the the chest piece. And then we got to do that. So 
there's there's that mission but i'm i'm gonna you know kind of do that on my own when i'm like watching tv or something on the side i'll just have it running on the on the phone the nice thing about having wukong here is anytime this what do you call it uh, increased defense goes up he has a chance to steal it remove it and he just did it right now and it's it's really nice to have because this boss in particular is we're just going to use it this boss in particular is very tanky and that's annoying by the way if you don't know this i hang out in channel zero for the most part because it's usually quiet as you can tell this is also me Oh yeah, but backtracking, I get distracted quite a bit. So, what are some of the struggles that you guys are having as a free-to-play or in this new account? And we might bring it up, I might put the the comment up if, if we get some really good ones, because we're going to have a discussion. We're going to have a discussion talking about the struggles of being free-to-play. Our experience, reliving it. Gavin's actually been doing free-to-play this his entire raid career. Uh, he hasn't ever spent a dollar in raid. I have, uh, you know, I've been I've been uh, a dirty freaking whale, and I've also been free to play, and I, I I can tell the difference. Pay to win is much more fun. I'm gonna be one of those guys that that go in a chat and and say I'm free to play. Come on, give us our, our thing. Okay, almost there. Almost there, guys. Yeah, so I, when I'm doing this, I I mean, when I'm going through my, my accounts, anytime I've done accounts, as I've said before, I'm a very big... I'm big on checklists. I'm big on to-do lists, so that's what I try to get out of my way first. And the same thing for the challenge lists. I see what I can do, what can get done. And, oh, we got an Ancient Shard. Look at that. We got an Ancient Shard. Whenever I see something that can be done, I try to do my best and get it out of the way. And so that's what I've mainly been focusing on. And I feel, in, in my experience, if you're following the main route, if you're following the main missions, everything sort of naturally just comes into play. Same thing with the challenges. Things sort of just come together, for, for the most part. I really want to get Sun Wukong and Savage. But to do that, I need to be able to farm Fire Knight. And Fire Knight is really hard right now, especially because I don't have the champions. I don't have multi-hitters. I'm gonna pull that one void. Watch me get a crazy. Oh my god, that would be a dream. I'd be so jealous. Knowing that I won't keep the account, that I'm gonna give it away. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Cronum. He would be a good legendary to put on this account. Oh, this is going to take some time. But I do need to do a video showing how to do this. Because I've done a video explaining how to do it. But I've seen that a lot of people are still struggling with it. So I'm going to I'm gonna do a video showing the entire thing. Like removing or uninstalling and then reinstalling and sending the emails to myself to get the referral links up. Yeah, Jamarsa and Cronum are huge, huge um, champions to, to put in to your account if you're free to play. I definitely recommend going for it. All right, we did the mission. Now we have to do stage seven. Then we got to do the same thing for the Void Keep, stage seven, then Spider, which is going to be difficult. 
stage seven, two champions to the level 50, a million to the demon lord, ascended champion to level five, uh, three star everything, champion. All right, so this is gonna take take a bit to get to get done. Mm, okay. So there's that. Mm, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's summon let's summon some champions here. Come on, give me a rare. Anybody? Zephyr Sniper is actually a decent champion to put in stun set. Her A1 is an AoE. And then she places continuous heal on all allies. So she's actually a pretty good champion to build out as an uncommon. I would highly recommend doing it, doing so. And she is based on defense, so she is quite tanky. But the heals, huge. It is on a four turn cooldown, which is kind of a down the downside, but she is a defense or she is an uncommon champion. But definitely somebody to look out for. Another great one would be Shield Guard. Shield Guard is a huge champion that I still have not pulled. Where's Shield Guard at? He's a barbarian, right? Yeah, he's a barbarian. Shield Guard is somebody I would probably build out and be excited for. Decreased speed on the A1. But here, fills turn meter on each critical hit. Defense based champion, AoE. Removes one debuff from this champion each turn. So, uh, I forgot where I've seen him used. But you build him out fast with 100 crit, and he'll he'll do some work for you. I should find that video. But yeah, it was Spider's Den. Spider Den, he could probably he can solo. I forgot which um, what do you call it? Which stage? But there's that. I really want to get to Spider because Spider is where I'm able to get a lot of silver. All right, and what else? Should I do it? Should I just pull? I keep looking back. I'm like, I really want to, uh, I really want to do this. Let's rank some champions up. I'm building food. I'm building up food. By the way, if you're doing the champion event, what a lot of people do veterans do this is what i do when i'm doing champion training events or champion training tournaments the most efficient way to get points is to level up some champions first and then feed them so don't just do this and feed this champion to rank up this champion you want to use this one because it's already been leveled and when you level up a champion you get points for that and that's going to be reflected in the tab or sometimes in the events tab or it's going to show up on the tournament point thing that comes up here but you want to put some levels on and then feed them like this you just drop drop a, a thing you get some points for it right now there's a champion training event going on and then you can feed that sister militant to somebody right, so like this one and then if i wanted to i could do that one also but uh we're not going to do that yet so. war priest is going to be food so if you guys get war priest don't bring her past honestly don't even bring her past 40 i think i mentioned this before so yeah and here we are yep see we got some points for a champion training event i'm not going for the fusion on this account i started late and it's just not going to happen gotta make some room Start feeding these champions. Because I'm not going for the champion training event, I'm just going to do this. But just know that that's the tip. building a war priest right now because she's going to be she's going to turn into food and i don't mind it 
So we have to wonder if we're going to bring Sun Wukong up to 60 or Kale up to 60 first. We'll, we'll see. I know that if I bring Sun Wukong up to 60, the dungeons and the campaign will get significantly easier. But Kale would bring my clan boss up for sure. So something to uh, to go over later. And... Ooh, the forge is open again. Okay, the forge is this is gonna be huge. Guys, if you have the few uh, if you have the forge open, you definitely want to use this to be getting some gear. Gear is going to be huge here. Most notably, perception. Perception you get accuracy and it increased the speed. Swift parry is also nice, but it's kind of harder to come by. So I would I'm gonna be doing this right here. In fact, let me do some right now. Uh oh wait, I'm not part of CDC because I joined late. Definitely want to rank these up, and then that's that's the best we can do. So let's let's come on, give me something good. Five star gear. Yes, crit damage on perception. Sick. That's huge. This is going straight to Sun Wukong. The the sub stats are kind of bad, but it's okay. It's crit damage, and I'll take it. Boots, HP, flat. Can I reroll? Nah. I don't want to even use a four on that. And, you know, we're going to use it for now, but this would normally be trash for me. Let's go ahead and do this. Defense flat. We're just going to sell that. That's trash on a rare. Okay, attack four with attack speed. This is okay for now. We'll keep that. Flat to the bin. Come on. We'll keep it for now. Give daddy some sugar. Crit rate? Uh, I'm not a fan of crit rate gloves. And the reason being is because eventually when you get to the end game, for the most part, for most champions in most situations, you're not going to be using crit main stat gloves. You're going to get your crit rate from other substats on other pieces of gear. I would have liked to see crit damage with crit rate as a substat. We'll keep it for now, just in case. And looks like we're all out. But we can get some res gear, so let's get some res gear on. We Actually, let's go do the swift parry thing real quick. Come on. Speed boots. This is okay. This is good. This is okay, as long as we don't get these flat stat rolls. I want speed. I want crit rate on a swift parry. Swift parry gives you plus speed, 18%, crit damage, and a chance to place unkillable when hit with a fatal attack. However, this is a four-piece set, so it's going to be harder to get use out of. That's okay. We'll keep that. This is good. This is uh, crit damage, speed, perfect. Accuracy is okay. Attack, percent, and speed. That's okay. That's okay. And let's just go ahead and use the rest of it. I need a shield or something. Something to make a four-piece. There you go. I, I speak it into existence. This happens because of what I say. And a helmet. I think that's enough to build somebody in Swift Parry. So we could build him in Swift Parry, probably. But I'm probably going to keep him. Is that, you know what we do need to do? We need to, we need to do a gear cleanse. We're at the point now where I can start getting rid of some, some gear. I was keeping a lot of gear just because... I knew there were missions coming up, but now that I think I've passed most of them, let's start getting rid of some things. I do know I don't need any more two stars. And I don't want to keep any more commons or uncommon gear, so we're going to get rid of all of it. Auto sell. Flat stats, we're going to get rid of. So I come here to the uh, priority, not priority, the primary stats tab down here. You can't really see it, but primary stats right over here. And what I do is I click the flat stats and I just get rid of it. Because we don't we don't need flat stats here. Oh, clan quests. By the way, make sure you guys are taking your clan quests. Clan quests are huge. If you can get up to expert, I usually just take this one because it's relatively easy. That's also why I save gear. Why I saved gear. It's not something I normally do, but do that and you can come here, you can get yourself fragments for free lego champions or if you really need the energy get the energy here or if you want accessories that's that's there too me i'm gonna go for 
Let's see. Yannicka has an attack. Um, uh, attacks her eight. Let me back up here. Yannicka hits twice. For, new for a newer player, this might be good. End game player, I don't use Yannicka for anything. Attacks one enemy twice with a leech. AoE if this champion's under, under veil. A1 places perfect veil on this champion if it's critical. And then grants an extra turn. Attack based champion. She does hit hard, by the way. Attacks all enemy, ignoring shield buffs, removes shields from targets if this champion is under a veil, and then deals extra damage equal to the 15% of the value of the shield removed. Increase to act, uh, attack all allies. So she's a pretty solid champion, especially for, let's say, like mid game, getting into the end game, early to, end, early to the beginning of end game. Your Carl is someone, I think, who will be, if you can get the gear, an awesome champion all around not all around sorry specifically for fire knight which is my focus i mean he's gonna be great in arena as well because he's a nuker he hits really hard plus he's got the freeze on the a1 and then he ignores a target's defense normally when you have freeze the let me see if i can find it here the champion will only receive 75 percent of the damage so when a champion is frozen um you know they they have a little bit extra defense, basically. But he's going to ignore that. And then his Blizzard Rider skill will place decreased speed and freeze, also increasing his own speed, ignoring some more target defense. This also hits hard. And then AoE, Way Shade, is his nuking AoE ability, four turn cooldown. And then um, also plays as a freeze. Can't be resisted when the target's turn meter is 75% or more. Passively increases the damage this champion inflicts by 10 for each champion in battle under freeze. Decreases the, uh, the damage this champion receives by 10 for each enemy under freeze. Unkillable whenever they kill an enemy under freeze. Increase attack. Awesome champion. I'm going to save up because I really want your Carl. And, uh, sorry, I didn't go over this point. But he also has utility in Fire Knight or the Hard Fire Knight more specifically because of his freeze ability. It's only a two hitter, which is okay. But in the hard Fire Knight, the turn meter of the Fire Knight will decrease when you have Freeze. So I'm thinking a little bit more into the long term. Plus, I would use him in Arena as well. We have to finish using multi-battles. Sell some more gear. Baby needs to grow he can, so he can spend. That's fine. Okay. Mm, let's make some more room. Because we need to summon more champions. We gotta get a rare. I'm, I'm gonna summon until I get a rare. Alright, we made us some room. Let's go ahead and do this. bully we don't care outlaw monk we got outlaw monk who was an awesome champion for clan boss especially early on i don't know that i want to build him out though at least not yet i might keep a copy of him somewhere but i'm not i'm not ready to build him out yet i think i'll be fine without him come on give us a rare make some more room Sorcerer, I'm going to build out because she... Not build out, but she is part of the fusion. So where is it? Right here for... Right? She's a fusion champion for somebody. For Relic Keeper. And he is a main mission champion that you have to fuse. So definitely keep um, her. I was lucky enough to pull her early on. And to... Give her some of this food. All right, there we go. We're making moves. Let's go ahead and summon more. Come on, I need a rare. Give me a rare. 
Sniper, everybody gets her. Come on. Skylag. Nope. Give us a rare. There is a mercy system. You can check right here, by the way. The, the mercy, when you're pulling greens, is... Um... Or, sorry. Well, first, the drop rate is 1.4 for rares from green shards. And then the mercy system is after... Is there a mercy system? I thought there was. I guess there's not. There's not a... Uh... Never mind. I... I... Spoke too, spoke too quickly. But we should get be we should be getting a rare sometime soon. We've pulled almost a hundred, right? So what's what are the numbers on that? Anybody anybody know? Oops. At a one point four percent drop rate. Let me put Outlaw Monk in the vault in case I do want to build a mount. Same thing with Zephyr Sniper. I don't need to keep this one, this Spirit Host, because this Spirit Host will eventually turn into the food, or er, will turn into the fusion that I need. We've pulled about 100, right? Should be getting a rare anytime soon now. Come on now. Don't be greedy. Don't keep it all for yourself. We got shield guard. That is huge. Hold up. We're going to lock shield guard out because we're going to be building him. Awesome. I'm excited. That's a good one. That's a good one to have. And we'll be building him out. I mean, I'll, I'll start feeding him. I'll start. Oops. We'll start feeding him. In fact, let me drop an ascension on him real quick. There you go. There you go, big fella. You got it. I got you, dude. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And the cool thing, if I remember correctly, Shield Guard, because of his AoE turn meter fill with each crit rate, he can do Spider, like I think I just mentioned it. But the main reason that that is enabled is because of all the little spiders. Each of those hits will make it so that he can take turn after turn after turn it's pretty cool it'd be cool if we got some some copies of shield guard so that we can feed him feed the books we can book him out do more damage one rare one rare give me one rare any day now There's the rare. Oh, come on. Alright. Oops. And then let's do some more. We have a few more. There it is. We got two rares who are basically trash. <laughs> Who's who is Spy Master? Attack one enemy, decrease duration of random buffs, AoE, block buffs, counterattack. Chance of placing provoke. 100% chance of placing provoke with counterattack. Um, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. Well, we got two two chickens. There you go. Let's just go ahead and bang these out then. 
All right, we'll keep the rest in case there's a mission that requires me to summon. I don't want to be completely out. But we got two food, two foods. I remember I built out Mystic Hand thinking he was great because he got the heals. He had the heals. But then I learned it was a mistake. Don't do it. Let's build out Shield Guard a little more. Let's level him up. Actually, we'll start keeping some people for food. And then um, build them out later and share that, guys, with you. Ascend a champion to level 3. Use a book, rare book. We can do that. We can, we can uh, use a rare book on Kale. Let's do it. Summon a rare. Summon a magic. Ascend. We could ascend. And we could level somebody up to level 40 right now. But I think there might be a main mission asking that of us. Level 50. We just saw one for level 40. Ascension to level 5. This is what I do, by the way. I always look ahead. Three ranks. Okay, it's redactive, meaning uh, you don't have to wait and then do it. It'll just count. The fitting to bonus to level two. I don't know if this is re redactive. I'm going to have to check that out later. Ascension. It doesn't look... Like, I have to wait on that. So we can go ahead and rank somebody, or ascend somebody. And we're going to ascend Shield Guard. There you go. Let's do it one more time. Level 3, there he is. And now he is getting stronger. He's able to do turn meter fills. It's AoE. And so we're going to build him out later. We're going to play... God over here. We'll put Sorcerer here in the vault. Don't mess with her yet. And we're still building chickens. We're building chickens to... I still haven't decided. I still can't decide between Kale and... Oh. I'll see you in a bit. Hold on. Yeah, it's oh, okay. Okay. Look at this, guys. I bought my wife flat. Actually, let me, hold on. let me take some time here to show you. So, as as a lot of you might know, this I I do, I do love my wife. Let me take this card out here so nobody can see it. I love my wife, and I bought her these flowers. So I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna go give them to my wife. So uh yeah. Anyway, that's been my journey so far, day three going into day four. Stay tuned for the next one.